All right. Um, I was considering doing these two missions to maybe get some more parts or something, but I did pull some mechs out of um, storage and I refit them. So I think I am ready to launch two full lances. Um, hopefully that's enough. Uh, point of no return. We have to leave Cormadir until Kamea has her throne back. So before then, make sure you're okay. Yeah. By your command. Those upgrades you asked for are online, Commander. What is left? Um, Logi pool. I think all of these are for morale. Hospital Bay. That could be nice to have. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. So, still 18 days before my other Orion is ready. Okay, we've got, oh man, wow, almost a million in operating expenses. Oh, did I set it to generous last time? I don't even remember doing that. Whatever, we'll stick it at normal this time. Not yet. I gotta wait for this Orion to be finished. Oh, paid informant. When a crowd of mech warriors return from shore leave, Goose trots over to you and Darius, frowning. Commander, I was out drinking when a stranger offered to buy me the next round. He started asking about our company, but I could tell that he already knew about us, about you. He pauses uncertain. Darius prods him. Go on, you're not in trouble, yet get to, uh, cut to the end. Goose clears his throat. He provided a method for secure communication and offered to pay for information about any more contracts we take in the system. Um. Feed them false information, spin them into a negotiation advantage. Uh, whatever. You rest a hand on Goose's shoulders. You did the right thing by telling us. We'll take it from here. After he leaves, Darius speaks his mind. Honestly, I don't care if we've rattled a few cages here in Cormadir. You agree. Might help with closing more contracts while we're here. If we're in the big mech on the block, okay. Later in the week, Darius reports that he managed to turn this to his advantage by charging non-refundable negotiation fees just to present a contract to the company. I should try this more often. 40k, alright. Man, I forgot she was like really fucking injured. Uh, I kinda need her. Let's check out my mech warriors, see who I got, because I only really upgraded like four of them. Yes, Commander. Ready for orders. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, melee overheat. Let's go with melee. Maybe she can Network go in my grasshopper. Standing by. Um. I suppose I could give him guts. Waiting for orders. Gunnery is always useful. Training complete. I must have little Z completely up upgraded. Training confirmed, Commander. Orders. Mech warrior training complete. Commander. Man, she got fucked. 
How many mech warriors do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. So maybe I do need to wait for her. Yeah, if I need one pilot per mech. Shit. Okay, well. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Suppose I can wait for Sculpin. Okay, well I'm waiting for her to heal. Decker approaches me on the mass mess deck. Commander, you know how Sculpin is sidelined in Mech Bay. I've been visiting her, trying to keep her morale up, and well, she's really messed up. She thinks her injury was her own fault. Maybe you could do something. Resting a hand on Decker's shoulder, you say, Thanks for letting me know, Decker. I'll see what I can do. Uh, deliver some entertainment. She gets high spirits, and morale is increased by one. Okay. Pick up a data pad with some book and holovid chips on your way over to the med base. Gulpin is already reading from a data pad as you enter. She looks up. Oh, Commander, you, you were bringing that stuff for me? Just put it over there. Every flat surface near her bed is covered in books, data pads, and snacks from the mess hall. Is that a stuffed animal? It would appear Decker has rallied more than just you to help her friend recover. Cool. Okay, but that only lasts for like 30 days, right? Uh, maybe I can hire a good mech warrior? Oh, um... Hiring hall, that's what I was looking for. Oi. Nobody is particularly awesome. Oi. Never mind then. That work order is complete, boss. Top not to work, if I may say so. Okay, that jumped her down <laughs> 21 days. Good thing I got money for all this. Uh, two morale. Improved library, one morale. Two morale. Low G pool just you sounds awesome. Now? I'll get the crew moving. And I'll have it before I have her. Okay, financial report popped up. Another huge chunk out of my money. Okay, the low G pool is complete. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. Okay, she is ready. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is save it really quick. And then I will launch. Parlay in orbit, Cormadier. Santiago Espinoza, Kamea, welcome home. You haven't we haven't spoken face to face since your father's funeral. Strange, isn't it? For all the time we've been fighting each other, for all our struggles, we haven't actually talked until now. I'm not here to talk with you, Uncle. I'm here to demand your surrender. And you walk away from this parlay disappointed. Did I teach you nothing, Kamea? The end game is a time for negotiation, not demands. I remember your teachings well enough, Uncle. If our positions were reversed, you would attack me without hesitation or mercy. The founding houses have rallied behind me. You're outnumbered and outgunned, and you have nowhere left to turn. And aside from a single hostage, you have nothing to negotiate with. A single hostage? He's your dearest friend. Surely he means more to you than nothing. Alexander means a great deal to me, but I would sacrifice any one person, even myself, for the good of the Reach. You are defeated. Concede. I've heard your proposal. Now hear mine. You will leave this system in my hands and solidify your power base elsewhere. I will rule Coromadir, and I will hold your friend to ensure your good behavior. 
You will agree to these terms or you will die. I will die? Your words are air, uncle. You have nothing left to threaten me with. So you believed uh, when you moved on Castle Nautilus. I think that you're bluffing and I'm willing to wager my life on it. See you on the field of battle. Yes, I suppose you will. Uh, that went about as mm, good as I could expect, indeed. Darius, raise the founding houses on the comms. Tell them that I'm ordering them to drop. All of our companies, our entire fleet, everything we have. As always, I will lead from the front. We're taking Cormadir, and we are doing it now. Little Z, I want you to remain at ready until I call for you. Prepare your mech warriors and wait for my signal. We're going to crush what remains of my uncle's directorate. With your company's help, I will retake the throne that was stolen from me. And come hell or high water, I will rescue Lord Madeira. I swear it on my father's name. 